biggest area where we've placed a big bet and we've been at it for a while is in our, our IPTV area, our media room technology. And we've been partnering uh, with over 20 major service providers around the world, AT&T being the, the U.S. primary partner, um, and the ATT universe, U, excuse me, U-verse service that's out there. It's a platform that is encouraging partnership and, and third-party content creation. It's a switch network that's you know very high performance, allowing for multiple picture-in-picture, -picture, instant channel changing, all kinds of interesting capabilities. So that to us is one of the most interesting areas. Clearly, uh, online, you know, internet-based video distribution uh, through various mechanisms is going to be important, is important. The business models are taking shape. Uh, obviously, advertising-driven is one, but there'll be subscription models. There'll be, you know, pay-per-view style models, one-off uh, purchases as well. We've delivered some interesting tools in this area, our Silverlight technology and Silverlight streaming service, which lets people host for free uh, four gigabytes and have 100,000 downloads loads a month at no charge. Uh, our Windows 2008 server coming out early next calendar year includes the media streaming capability and media server capability at no charge integrated into the Windows server platform which runs at scale so I could keep going. We have just a plethora of interesting underlying platform assets and partner opportunity. I think it's one of the most exciting times ever. I think we have the foundation technologies and the underlying platforms uh, that have matured uh, and you know in our case in Microsoft's case we're bringing a lot of those underlying platforms and tools to market now. Um, I don't see it as a, uh, as, as a bubble in any particular way. Personally, there's always uh, excess investment and there's always failure, um, but I think that the, uh, the level of opportunity uh, and the level of outcome, if you will, the buyers, the acquirers, which is typically where startups end up, a few of them go public, but most of them are acquired, the successful ones. I think it's going to be great opportunity for the entrepreneurs.